We are in the middle of Midtown. They could not have picked a busier place to test this thing out. Madison Square Garden's right there. Penn Station's over here. Hey, give me that. And uh, <laughs> uh, this is the Nissan new mobility concept. If it looks familiar, it's basically the same exact thing as the Renault Twizy, which has been around for a while in Europe and Nissan took it, rebadged uh, re it a bit, brought it to the States, made some modifications, and now they're testing it out here in the United States. They've only got about a dozen or so here. 10 of them are part of a pilot program in San Francisco uh, where people can rent them and share them, um, but they're really just trying to figure out how it might work here in the States. So we just turned on to 8th Ave. We're gonna go up towards Times Square a bit. Um, but yeah, so this is all electric. It'll get you about 40 miles on the charge right now. It takes about three to four hours to recharge the whole thing uh, off of your standard EV charging port. And uh, in the US, it's speed limited to 25 miles an hour. In Europe, this same thing can get up above 50 or so miles an hour, which is definitely a little sketchier. Uh, it's similar in some ways to the Arkimoto SRK, which we got to ride back at CES. Obviously the big difference is this is four wheels, that was three, um, but you've got the same open air construction, uh, another big windshield so you can see up in front of you. This isn't gonna get you around with 100 miles of range or 200 miles of range in the suburbs, but in the city it could get you around. I don't know if you'd want this in New York City, but once you miss all the buses and stuff, it's actually not that bad. The ride is not the smoothest. Uh, there is some interesting looking suspension on all four wheels, but uh, I just hit some pop holes back there that made me think about my lunch from a couple hours before. Now this is all part of what Nissan calls the Future Lab, it's something that's been around for a couple years and they're basically studying big urban environments, whether that's sort of big like San Francisco or really big like New York and trying to figure out how people get around, how that's changing from how we've always known people get around. And this is basically the first project that they've employed based on their findings. And so, like I said, there's 10 in San Francisco right now in a partnership with a program called Scoot. And people are able to join up with Scoot and rent one of these things. And it's point to point, a lot like bike sharing. You grab one, drop it off somewhere else, throw it back in a charger. So to see more weird stuff like this and more traditional cars and all this stuff from the New York Auto Show, head to TheVerge.com, head to YouTube.com slash TheVerge and click subscribe. I almost just hit a pit pigeon. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching.